hello it's Naomi here and I just wanted to show you another of my mates for the Fernie Design team um, this is working with their brick wall I'll move this out the way I'll explain how things were done okay when you get your brick wall from Fernley like this and you'll get a bag of the bricks in um, this one is the 150mm by 150mm you can also get a smaller size which is 100 by 100 which is effectively 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters and then there's another size which is 150 by 85 millimeters as I said this one is the 150 which is the same the 6x6 six six. so to make this project what I did was I glued that to the 6x6 trip board and then I used foam pads in here in the spaces now I've got mine on a roll so you just cut it to the size you need and you don't have to fill that up completely and then I put all the individual pieces in it's easy you've got the little digi sizes you've got a slightly smaller size on the sides and the rest of these are all the same size is really easy to work out what goes where okay so once I've got all of my bricks put in place so that I had a raised brick I'll show you mine see how they're raised what I then did was I got some light modeling paste that I bought from middles for about three pounds I think and I used a uh, makeup sponge to dab it all over to get some texture so there's texture in the grouting areas and there's texture up there and then I used sorry vintage photo Asian mahogany and the rust distress inks in different areas to get bricks in different colours so up here you may notice is a bit darker than down here it's just where I've used different inks and then to add a little bit of extra flavour to it, I've used some enchanted gold gilding wax on some of the bricks, which is that one, gives it a nice kind of iridescent sheen, it's gold. And I also used on some of the bricks, on other bricks, this one, which is the deep red. Just to give it that little bit of which I don't think my camera's really picking up properly here okay so that was all my brickwork done the next thing that I did was I stuck a fence panel to two of the hexagon um, art tiles now these come in a pack of 12 so that's what this is stuck on to you can see them there and then I stuck that onto my brick wall. So this is actually freestanding if I haven't already said that. It won't do on this blanket. And I've got painted that with this is household paint matte emulsion. This is the crushed almond that I always use. And basically after that I went crazy with the flowers. So then I added these two flourishes which are Coolness Type 6 or the small vines and i added this lamp post which all i've done with that to give it color is use the deep red gilding wax now the lamp posts come in a pack of three so you get this one the one i've used and then this one and they are gorgeous i love these great way of adding dimension okay and then the last thing that I added was the penny farthing I love these I think they're brilliant and look at all the detailing you can see the pedal you've got this spoke wheel bit there there's just lots of detail on this I think they're great and that's been sprayed with glimmer this so it's got a bit of a gold sheen to it but it's actually the colour's called amber, golden amber. It's not quite red, not quite orange. And on the back it's just kind of plain at the moment. I might cover that at some point. I've had it stood on my shelf 
that I may put a ribbon on the back so it can be wall mounted. That stamp, it is one for my stash. I've actually forgotten where I got that one from. And it's just on a piece of cardstock that I've inked around the edge. So I hope you like my project. Um, if you'd like to see more Fernley Designs products, go to www.fernleydesigns.com and you can also find them on Facebook. There's a group on there, there's some great ideas on there. All the design team shaft their makes. There's a monthly giveaway. You can find out about new products. There's just loads. It's well worth a look. Oh, I forgot to tell you, I've added some gilded wax to the edges of all the flowers as well, so they've got a bit of glimmer. But yeah, pop over, have a look if you haven't already. Don't miss out. Hope you liked it. Talk to you soon. Bye.